Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I wanted to show you how I use the Palo Alto Network's best practice assessment tool to check the security posture of my initial lab panorama deployment. So in my last video, I showed you how I configured basic panorama management and active passive high availability. If you haven't had a chance to check this out yet, I'll leave a card above. You can also read about this topic on my website at mbtechtalker.com. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. So now I've deployed Panorama using the basic configuration that I showed you in my last video. I've got high availability configured. Now what I'm gonna do is run the Palo Alto Networks BPA tool using a tech support file that's generated directly in the Panorama web UI. So once you've downloaded the tech support file and then you've visited the Palo Alto Networks customer support portal or CSP, you can then use the best practices tool and go through the next, 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 and it will spit out a report in a zip file, which you download to your machine. And what I'm interested in for this video or for this for this kind of uh, best practices assessment is the spreadsheet that's included in that zip so we're just going to concentrate on panorama so once we get in that spreadsheet there's a, a a tab just for panorama and we open that up and then we take a look at the bpa verdicts and then we essentially look at the details of all the past and failed bpa configurations so then we can use this spreadsheet to track the changes that we're going to make or the changes that have been made historically and then tick them off one by one. So essentially we're going to harden the panorama configuration and try and adhere to best practices the best we can, starting with the easy low hanging fruit and, and just look at the rationale and the document documentation that's included in the spreadsheet. It's uh, it's a it's a good process to get used to and it, and it really sets sets a standard from the beginning. So let me show you how I do all of this. Okay, so let's log into Panorama. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Panorama tab. And down here on the left hand side, we need to look for the support section. And over here on the right, what we need to do is generate a tech support file. And then once that's completed, we're just going to download that to our machine. And then we're going to head over to support.paloaltonetworks.com to access the customer support portal and the BPA tool. As you can see, the tech support file has been generated. So all we need to do is click on that and it will download to your client machine. Now we need to head over to the Palo Alto Networks.com support portal or AKA CSP. So what do you got the site open? So it's uh, HTTPS support.paloaltonetworks.com. Now, if you're already working with Palo Alto Network equipment, you should already have an account. Um, and what you need to do is just sign in. So over on the left hand side, just need to expand the tool section. And then what we're looking for is the best practice assessment. And I'm just going to click the generate new BPA. And I'm going to find the file that I downloaded and I'm just going to simply drag it into here. And it will upload to the site. So once the tech support file has uploaded successfully, you'll be presented with a architect classification page. This can be skipped um, as this relates to strata firewalls and, and we're dealing with panorama in this video. So there's no zone mappings. So we can ultimately, ultimately just scroll down and then skip this step. So the default industry is high technology. I'm just gonna leave it at that. However, if you want to compare your BPA against a particular industry, then take a look through the list 
and just choose the right one for you. But when you're ready, you can hit generate and download report. So you need to keep an eye out for the pop-up boxes in the left-hand corner. You should get a prompt to save the zip file to a location of your choosing. As you can see here. So straight away the website presents you with a summary of the BPA results. Once the zip file has been extracted, you will see three files. So every time you run a best practice assessment against a new tech support file, the executive summaries are saved in the Palo Alto Networks customer support portal. So customers and partners will always have access to those historic reports. However, Palo Alto Networks does not save the detailed HTML reports. This is largely due to security and privacy concerns. So just remember to save those files for future reference. So I'm not going to deep dive into the detailed BPL report themselves as the report focuses heavily on strata firewalls and we've run the best practice against Panorama. So I'm solely interested in the best practice for Panorama in this video. So within the zip file, as I said before, there is a spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is open up that spreadsheet and we're going to be working inside the Panorama tab alone. Okay, so I've uploaded the contents of the zip file that I, ex I extracted earlier up to my Google Drive. And I'm just going to use Google Sheets to open up the spreadsheet. So once I'm in the spreadsheet, I'm all I'm going to be concentrating on is the Panorama best practice configuration. So by clicking on the Panorama tab, it opens up this page. And as you can see, it's got a, a best practice checks strata i know strata is firewalls but in this case we are just concentrating on panorama tab if your panorama or your lab panorama um, had firewalls inside when you're in that tech support file it would also encompass those firewalls as well so these tabs then would apply to the firewalls that panorama is managing but as it stands right now, we don't have any firewalls imported into Panorama, and uh, so there's no there's nothing for Panorama to manage. So this is what I like to do first: is essentially harden the configuration on Panorama before I move on to you know importing firewalls into it. So you just take a look at this page, and what I'm interested in is the BPA verdict, um, it, which is over here, BPA verdict. And as you can see, these lines here of configuration or features are failing the best practices assessment check. So if we take a look at one of these as an example, we can see the first one here is in Panorama and general settings, and it's called automatically acquire commit lock. And there's a message here which says, it's recommended to enable automatically acquire commit lock. And there is a hyperlink here that will take you straight to the documentation tab, which then opens here, and then it takes you to the line that is, you know, which is gonna explain the rationale behind this. Um, and as it says here, um, enable automatically creating a commit lock as soon as an administrator makes configuration changes. The commit lock prevents other administrators from making configuration changes until the first administrator commits her or his changes on the firewall. So, this is a best practices um, uh, configuration um, and it's an easy one. So if we went back to Panorama and we took a look at the complexity of that first uh, BPA check, it says the complexity is easy and the effort is five minutes. So essentially, this is what I do. I go through each of the uh, failed checks, the ones that I feel are uh, you know, relevant to my configuration um, and just start hardening Panorama to make it more secure, to improve the security posture. So what I could do is go through a few of these. So I could start by looking at uh, automatically acquire commit lock and maybe add in a login banner. So we can go over to Panorama and we can take a look at those and, and see, uh, you know, see how that kind of works out. Okay, so we're back on Panorama. And just to remind us, it was the automatically acquired commit lock and the feature was Panorama general settings. Uh, so we've go back to Panorama then and we're in the Panorama tab. And if we go all the way up to the top to setup and under management, 
and then general settings. We're just going to click the cog and here you go, automatically acquire commit lock and we just tick it. So as simple as that, that was the first BPA fail check resolved. So you can go back and we can scroll away to the right and then we could we could change change this here to um, resolved. Um, and then when we run this BPA again, this will change to pass. So let's have a another a look at another one. And we, we said we we're going to look at the login banner. So again, that is general settings um, in Panorama. So general settings and then the cog. And there you go. There's the login banner there. So I've got one in my clipboard. I just took off the internet. So unauth unauthorized access to this device is prohibited. So click OK on that. So now we have got a login banner. So all I need to do is just commit those changes. And those two BPA failed checks have now been resolved. So we can just highlight, highlight this, this entry here, go to the right, and then just track it here. And we can say resolved. So it's really that simple. There is some really useful information in this spreadsheet that will guide you through each failed check, rating the complexity of the configuration change, the amount of time it should take you to configure that specific element and also provides us with hyperlinks to documentation and the rationale behind why the change should be remediated. Essentially, this spreadsheet becomes a living document where all the remediations can be tracked in one place making it really easy to harden panorama and if you go on to use this with with your firewalls in the future it's exactly the same process it just makes it super easy to manage and to track all the changes so i recommend doing this guys uh, see how you get on and just leave any comments below if you have any questions so that's it guys i'm sure you know what to do by now but if you don't please hit that subscribe smash that like button and click the bell notification and I will see you in the next video.